Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I think, I think, I think that's it. That's all for season 42. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the videos this season, guys, I appreciate it if you do throw in that code, chicken in the shop. It does expire every seven, blah, 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 blah. Appreciate it also if you subscribe to the channel. So here's where we're at. Here's where we're at. Now, I lost the last two, so I was actually at... I forget what the highest was, but um, I didn't make a new base today. I literally just unlocked the uh, the mine, no, the Doom Cannon, and we pushed a little bit from there. What's funny is, once I unlocked the Doom Cannon, I lost two, and I was like, okay, well, maybe we'll just hang it up there. So, um, it looks like the cutoff is going to be like 24-ish around there. So, I think we're safe in terms of top 500. I might push a little bit more just because I want to... I kind of want to get to 2450, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fence as to what I want to do, but what we're going to go over in this video is, uh, you know, tips for 70R, end of the season, all that stuff. So, as usual, we'll start off with the tech. Now, what I would go for next, I think, would be boom mines. I think those are going to be nice. Boom mines and then multi nodes. And then uh, artillery. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, GB first, boom mines, multi nodes, uh, and then barrage and artillery. And then you can, you know, once you have all that, if you can get that by the end of today or tomorrow, then you should be able to get to legendary um, if you grind it out for sure. So, um, yeah, but yeah, like I said, today we got the uh, we got that last doom cannon. That was our last kind of, you know, test it out, see how it goes. Um, and it honestly didn't make that much of a difference. Now, I think the biggest thing is because of my base. I'm going to show you this guy's base, Mr. P7R, uh, who whooped us. Uh, enemy replay. No, that'll be him against me, chicken. Let's think with both of our brain cells today. Your replay. This base. I would copy this one. This one threw me for a loop. I think it can be done fairly simply, but I just had no idea how to take it down. And, uh, of course, this was on my win streak at, like, 20 or 2440 something whatever I was at we'll take a look there currently right now on the global we're sitting at 176 so not too shabby um, and our highest was well it was 2437 so only what's that nine more star stars higher than what we were so that's not a big deal but I was 2437 on a win streak going against uh, I believe he was a 25 so would have got, you know, probably 18 stars for that one. That would have been sweet and cemented our season. But, of course, we lost. Then we fight this guy who's in Legendary, and I was just like, I don't know. Whenever you get up in the top 200 range, I always find the matchmaking is just, it's all over the place. You might find someone that's ranked 22, which is no good because then you're only winning five stars. You might find someone that's Legendary, like we just saw, that has a maxed out tech tree. And that's fairly common uh, to see that stuff when you're higher up. Just because it's a lot more difficult to find a match. Not necessarily... I know the queue times are bad all over the place, but um, the matchmaking can get really wacky. So I just... I don't know. I didn't trust to keep pushing. Um, we might have had it, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's where we got to today. Now let's talk about the... Uh, that's the base and the tech. Let's talk about the attacks next. Because they were actually going awesome. Let's see if we had some good ones here. Uh, he... Fizzled? Okay. 2.8, that's okay. 159, that's meh. 222. This one went really well. I think this guy didn't have DVD or something, but let's look at this attack. Now, this is a pretty standard 70R base, right? He's got the mortars on the front. Um, he's got all three of the mines, and then he's got one of the corners compacted in with the sky shield. So what I opted to do here, because he didn't have the DVD... My plan going into this was, okay, he doesn't have the DVD. It should be fairly easy to keep my troops alive. We're going to use more gunboat energy off the landing. And then we're just going to keep them, do everything we can to keep them all together and just pile on that damage and hopefully get through the base faster. Alternatively, we could have gone spread them out a little bit more, taken down both sides at once, but then we risk fizzling. Then we risk, you know, um, not getting through the base as quickly. And as you guys know, um, time is everything. Time is everything. So, I somehow lost that heavy chopper. I think to that boom cannon. 
Um, but let's throw it into two times speed here, and we'll just kind of talk through this. Um, so yeah, as you're coming through the base, important things, doom cannons, shock launchers, and mines. That's basically what we're, we're doom cannons, shock launchers, and mines. Um, cryobombing the mines, shock in the doom cannon, and the shock launchers, and then second wind. So you got to balance those kind of four things. That's really all you need. I didn't see anyone that beat me, you know, kind of handedly by using barrage or artillery. Obviously, those are tools that are going to help, but I don't think it was super necessary right now. Um, but you see, just everything went well there. We had good spacing, and the attack went great. Um, and we ended up getting a killer time, so that was obviously exciting. Um, this guy was also a 25, and he had kind of a similar base. And you see right here, I'll throw it into four times. Um, we did kind of a similar thing. It was actually the exact same. Basically, just keep everyone on the left. Cryobomb, shock, second win. Cryobomb, shock, second win. It kind of just repeats in that order. Now, this one was a little bit sketchy because they kind of came over to that one side and then they spread out a little. What was lucky there was they got around that flotsam. They just didn't path uh, towards it at all. Um, and then you see here, we come down, we'll, th we'll slow it down here. Um, and I let them shoot that flamethrower for two reasons. Number one, they were damaging the engine room behind it just as fine. And two, I didn't want to have to flare them into it. Um, so we get through to here. And then there's no defenses left, so all we had to do is just get one shock off. Uh, but it is worth, you know, it is worth flaring at this point. I know the laser rangers take a while to take down the, the engine room. Um, but it's definitely worth flaring when you get to that point, I've found anyways. Um, shoot me. Let's see here. So this is that kind of stacked in the middle base that we've seen. Um, again, same thing. I like that left side landing. It's just easy. It's intuitive. You can, you know... The good thing about going on the left side versus the right side is look where your gunboat is, right? The further you are away from your gunboat, that's why it takes so long to throw stuff way back here, right? Because it's got to go all the way across the base. You can... Um, you can kind... You can correct yourself really quickly. Like if, if someone's out of line or you got a reflare, it's not a big deal. It's going to be there like instantly, right? So... Uh, let's see right here. Get uh, show you that somewhere in real time if we throw something out. You get the picture. So that was kind of the middle. So it didn't really matter. But either way, so after we, it's all about the landing and the flawed sam cam. If you can do that, and you see what I did there too. I found that was super helpful. Was throwing the critters on the floaty just to get it down a second earlier. You know, I found that saved some of the troops. This is actually a terrible attack. Um, but it ended up kind of working, so... Um, but yeah, so those were the... That's basically the attack, guys. That's what we were doing. That's what we were having, you know, somewhat uh, of success with. And I would copy that square base because that was throwing people off. I think it's going to get a little bit easier in that people know how to beat it, so maybe it's not so good now, but... Uh, Yep, for now we're hanging it up. We might dive back in, I don't know. We're a long ways from 4 to 4, so if we do need a battle, we can jump back in at any point. But um, I think that's it. I think that is it. Let me know where you guys are at and uh, where you plan on stopping for this season or what your goal is. Oh, I want to give a big shout-out to, uh, to Knight YouTube. He made Legendary. Uh, we can probably actually see him here. Is he in my task force? Friend? Yeah, here he is. So... I want to give a big shout out uh, to this guy. Hey, maybe this is the base to copy. Uh, he made Legendary, which is great. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. Similar tech and everything like that. So maybe that's the base. We'll uh, throw it away before too many people start copying it. But, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if it's interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back.